Greetings beautiful soul. Let us take a look at your tarot card messages in love for zodiac sign cancer. Thanks so much for all of your show of support on this journey. It's abundantly appreciated. So the energy I'm getting so far is someone has not given up on you. All right, and they are still working on something. I feel like this person, they hear you, they see you, they sense you. They sense the urgency. They're trying hurriedly, hastily to put something together, to put out the effort, to figure something out um, so that they can make it into your life or get something done or come around in some way. I feel like you block this person or there is no connection. But I feel like this person, they can feel the block. There is also someone that they can feel the blockage, meaning that they can feel like you're not talking to them or they can feel like it's going to take some work to get toward you. Queen of Swords energy. On the bottom of the deck for you is the Sun card energy. So some Leo energy coming around. Someone is trying to say that they want to meet your needs. Someone is saying that you are their dream come true. So you may be dealing with a Leo or you have Leo vibrations. Someone is jealous of for you too. And someone is jealous that... Just someone is just anxious because they don't want someone else to get to you first. So I don't know if this is a competition, but look. You are the queen of wands or king of... Like king energy, queen energy, whether you're masculine, feminine. You are like... You, I hear that you are the goat so like you are the greatest of all times and I'm also feeling like for some reason there's something about you that is extraordinary and there's a lot of people wanting to be with you you're very attractive you're abundant you're hot on the market you're like hot topic right now you could be very fertile you're you're something about you like you're on fire you're smart you are you're talented. You give me catwoman vibration. And you you don't... It's like you're self-sufficient. So, you're not giving off desperate. You're giving off attractive. So, you're just att you're in your attractive energy. Attracting what you need and want you. And I'm also seeing like... If you're feminine energy, there are feminine energies around you that are jealous of that. That you, you are just so attractive. You don't have to try hard to get not that you don't try but they they think that you don't try hard to get what you want or to get attention because you're naturally fiery naturally attractive naturally beautiful naturally bold with the sun card and the eighth and the queen of wands this is like you get a lot of attention naturally easily feminine energy like men give you a lot of attention easily yeah you walk down the street and men are looking at you and take like men take their eyes off the road to look at you and women can see, like the women can see that you walk with that fire energy. So I'm feeling that kind of a jealousy and comparison around you. But just so you know that there are a lot of people watching you. They, they know that you have high standards. There's none like you. You are unique for real. And so there are people that are just trying to figure out. This could be one person or multiple I'm getting it to both energies, like one main person, and then there are still multiple people that are trying to figure you out. Some of them are trying to get in, you know, what, yeah. But it's some of them are learning that it is hard. Some of them are actually giving up because they're realizing that you're not an easy target. So these people may even try to turn against you, to try to um, afflict you with with um, negative words because like let's say they were trying to come at you flirtatiously and you were asking for more you know you weren't giving in and so they realize that they don't have any chance so now they try to go out and like insult you in some way but it's not affecting you it can be but it affects them more it shows up their true colors and how they feel about themselves I just feel like you, you're just really confident right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there are people that are going to be jealous because your person is showing up. You're, you're one. This chariot card is my the one. Someone could be showing up from Nigeria. All right. Someone is showing up with love. Someone is making you their, making you their selection. Someone is choosing you over everyone else. Someone is, you're like a queen of the Nile. I'm telling you, you're charming too. 
and there you you just want someone over and this person could be really wealthy like a wealthy nigerian man or something um that's the energy or or some <laughs> that may sound the way to some people to some of you but um yeah you may be like i'm just seeing like someone coming that adores you put you up on a chariot and you go through your, your it's like your life changes because you know like living upon like oh can i say like a queen like traveling through the desert on a pedestal because of this person that is coming around watch this okay we have that coffin energy too yeah, and there were people, I, I said it already, that they were comparing themselves to you. You also, mm, you may not be used to being treated like royalty. So you're going to need to get used to that, even in the way you think about yourself. This is because of conditionings of how you were raised, your environment as well. So it's, mm -hmm. you like you could be getting married. Three of Cups energy it's a celebration so someone is showing up to speak with you and they want they want to like oh my gosh look and this card says show up someone is showing up to speak with you they want to confirm you they want to marry you they want to propose to you they want to just devote themselves to you and make some offer to you this could be about property i'm getting someone just someone really wants you and they want to know how you think someone is coming toward you with a love offer on the table and this could be a gemini or a sagittarius i'm getting your yeah, nine of wands is next so nine of wands is this i hear hypocrites and jealousy but you are also protected from this because you are in the spotlight spotlight leo energy of the sun card so people like some something is up to you like your the choice is up to you so people are what yeah so people are watching to see what you're going to say what you're going to be doing like maybe this person proposes to you in public or something but there are a lot of people watching that are jealous mm -hmm. okay and lot of people watching that compare themselves to you like what they would do if they were in your position from what they wouldn't do. But this is your moment. Alright, let's see if this person is sincere. They really are attracted to you physically and they see your beauty. They really want to like, you know, work with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this person is feeling that like you are a healer you will heal them in some way like i get i'm hearing something about a lamp and oil like burning a lamp and oil three of swords wow listen this person someone is really hurt three of swords right there someone is hurt because i feel like for example this is a person from your past that is trying to get back to you but they're really, it's like desperate, hurt, crying, pain. I hear chivalrous. This person, they are like broken down is the energy. Or they may be breaking down. If this is you in hurt and pain, I feel like this is an opportunity for you to get to know more about yourself. Become self-aware. What does not kill you make you stronger. And this these are the powers that you have. So this is one of the qualities that you possess that makes you mo more and more beautiful every time. You just It's like you just keep getting more attractive, more beautiful because of how you maneuver certain situations. I'm getting spicy, like something <laughs> spicy, hot. Yeah, the Nine of Swords is next. Wow, oh my gosh. Someone is crying. It could be a Capricorn. Someone is missing you. Someone wants to tell you how they feel. But they just someone is just feeling really icky and really sad. And this person, they're feeling like they miss you. Mm -hmm. They missed an opportunity with you. They miss being with you. They have regrets. Someone is so heartbroken and sorry. Nine of Swords is someone crying, feeling bad. You know? 
they just feel like you shut them out judgment card this person they want to come back around to you like this person wants a new beginning i feel like they also see you having a new beginning like you're releasing your burdens and so on you're looking light and happy so the energy of this person is they're crying they're like oh like you were right um yeah someone is just coming at like groveling and crying and um, i don't know if if this is good or bad i'm getting right now it's an, a person from your past that hurt you in some way they feel like they made a mistake not choosing to work with you to be with you to be honest to you to be faithful to you to not you know and um this is also possibly the energy of a person that desperately wants to connect with you that they cannot stop thinking about you but it's not a person that has like severe like severe the connection with you or has hurt you severely in any way you know maybe some misunderstanding and then someone just can't stop thinking about you for that connection i feel like there's a possibility of a reunion <clears throat> okay with that person because someone is praying yeah there's a possibility of a reunion six of diamonds and the judgment card with or someone having a chance i hear brother to be together again oh my gosh i'm seeing family energy six of cups and six of pentacles and i'm for sure seeing a reunion and someone is gonna stop crying someone is gonna be happy because i feel it's the energy of someone crying and then they get good news that they're gonna get what they've been praying or crying for so watch out for that you are gonna be so happy so you're just gonna you're finding out that someone loves you so much look the ten of cups is next oh my gosh once like i feel like there was a time when you just felt sad and then you're getting like answer from god most high judgment card as you know it's it's the energy of a child crying and then someone say okay sweetie here you go here's something that's gonna make you happy happier make you better so for some this is you getting a better person in your life showing up that's gonna heal, heal your broken heart or this is like even family members coming around or good energies moving into your space because most high loves you and has seen you crying or has felt your pain and knows the truth of what you went through this is also the energy of someone that wants to connect with you truly wants to wants you to love them or love them truly all right or wants to do that to you i know this is the energy of someone that also this is the energy of someone from your past that did you wrong and they're just it's just horrid this person is in so much regret so much pain so much like self-blame and guilt because they feel like they messed up like imagine someone doing their wife really bad and now like they're coming at your feet groveling wanting you to, to wanting their wife to take them back and all of these things like realizing the mistake that they've made because this person could be in some problems or something so use your discernment i just see beautiful things happening for you you leveled up you've bossed up you're big, you're bold, you're confident. A lot of people want your time, your energy, your your um, your affection, your energy, your attention. You're owning your energy as well. You are also protected because you are self-aware. So you keep learning, growing, adopting. And I do feel like there, if you're single, there's a mate for you. Just, but you're not even worried about it. And I love you. I'll see you in the next one, beautiful soul. Take it easy out there. Ask your questions in the comment section if you dare. I'll catch you in the next one. I said that already. All is well. All is within you. Thanks for your show of support on the journey. It means so very much to me. All the best to you. Bless up yourself.